enough is enough. Government, Governor Mba angrily stormed scene where Fulani hurt men murdered residents in Enugu. Is it not the same governor that said they can do Ruga? <laughs> He's saying enough is enough. Uh -uh. The news in detail, please. Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State has strongly condemned the recent attack in Nimbo, which resulted in the death of four people. He vowed to bring the perpetrators to justice, declaring that enough is enough. During the visit to Nimbo community, accompanied by security officials, Governor Mba assured the residents that the government would take decisive action to ensure their safety. He emphasized the primary duty of the government to protect its citizens and promised to deploy everything within our powers, and I mean everything, the law, the forces, everything that is necessary towards achieving this goal. Governor Mba expressed deep concern for the death deadly for the dastardly murder and pledged to pursue the attackers relentlessly until they are apprehended and brought to justice. He condemned the inexcusable and unacceptable violence against innocent people and promised to support the victims and their families in every possible way. In response to the community's grievances, Governor Mba assured them of government representation and support. He promised to deploy everything within our powers to guarantee their security and welfare. Meanwhile, Clement Akachiko, the President General of Nimbo, highlighted the long-standing security challenges faced by the community due its remote location. He called for the strengthening of local forces, local security forces, and urged the government to include Nimbo in decision-making processes. Akachiko emphasized the need to empower community vigilantes and enhance their capacity to tackle security threats effectively. He stressed the importance of continuous vigilance to safeguard the community against future attacks. It is not by coming out to speak plenty, plenty grammar. When they were telling this man, Shibi, you come and say, they keep quiet. Others still, they are coming out to beat their hand for chest. They need to do rugao. I'm telling you, you keep quiet. Our only God knows why you're keeping quiet. And this thing has been happening. And when it happens, the only thing you know, in this country, eh, it gets within in my mind. It gets some things will go up and go say, ah, ah. Go say, ah, this thing now, believe you me, this thing was foreseen. And they were calling on this man to do the right thing. Come outside and declare your stand. Make it clear that there are communities that they will tell you they do the same this regard. Do you understand? They know they do. That was how I think there have been reports about this same particular um, in a good state where people came out and said, Look, oh, they now see these people on their farms, so they don't want any trouble. I think at that time, you understand, and now see, they don't start to do you don't come outside, they talk, saying, you are going to do everything, we should do everything in your power. You did not do anything about to protect them. These are politicians sometimes, then they make my head they scatter. Truth. What you're supposed to do to make sure things like this do not occur. You wait for it to occur and start telling us super story. And we are going to make sure the perpetrators. There you want to see the perpetrators. This news now, you will not hear. I assure you. I'm so sorry. Mm. My condolences to those who have actually, you know, who, who actually lost their loved ones. But I am so sorry to say that this news, you're not going to hear that uh, they have actually caused the people or they sentenced them to this thing. You understand? Aligbo, you cannot hear it. Aligbo. I wonder why governors, eh, people end up picking governors who like actually become causes to them. See the thing the people of Kogi State they go through. See the verses we that they go through. Okay. We need results, not grammar. Open up that nimble with good roots. Oh. Full animals currents everywhere and we are keeping quiet. A people whose habitation is in the bush disturbing the indigenous people. Come to Anime Junction and see the degree of nuisance these full anime screens are causing. Instead of sending them back to where they come from, government is looking the other way in the name of freedom of movement. How can you be free with dangerous species who ought to be living in the bush with animals? My dear, you don't see a dangerous species. At this point, I'm going to see. You see the way they are allowing those people to walk around with knives, gone. They shall allow everybody to walk about. Let Nigeria become a banana republic. 
Because if you are doing anything, you will have a mind that I have a rifle or a gun. No, this thing I'm telling you, yes. If at the end of the day, that is what is going to result to. By the time you are doing anything, you will know that the person you are coming to the house or the land <laughs> is going to, they don't cock the gun, they wait. If you move them, pa -pa do you understand? Maybe in a waiting will reset everybody's brain. Because we cannot keep having, do you know, see, this is small. This is four people. That is if it is actually true that it is four people. These four people that actually died. They were people's mothers, if it is, if they, if women are involved, they are people's fathers, if uh, women, they are breadwinners. Some family have been thrown into perpetual poverty because the people that died were the breadwinners. Do you know that? It even is not a matter of, eh, we will make sure you come outside and speak big grammar and you go back to your office. No. What are you going to do to ensure this does not repeat itself again? How are you going to tackle the situation? What message are you going to send to people who did it that see this community is not going to be tolerating such kind of attitude from people like you? Which kind of what? What are you going to do? It is not by coming out to speak the grammar that you ensure. You will ensure. That is not enough. What are you doing? Shebiu Yamri are making jest of Yoruba people when those others were actually murdered. I feel for those that were killed though, but I told you then that it is almost as your door. Door? Because the problem of Fulani is all over the country now. How my kids? Sincerely, let me tell us, if something happens, it is going to be very foolish of us. I have seen these words I'm using today. I am using it because I am pinned. If something happens anywhere around the country, this kind of thing, you don't come outside to make jest or mockery of the people. This one is not a matter of when you lie with this one, you lie with this one, no. These people that died are people's, like I said, if some, some people now, some family, before they come out of this, it's going to take a while. Why? Because the people that were actually murdered in this particular kind of thing are their breadwinners. So for a very long time, they will struggle and struggle and struggle and struggle because of this thing that happened. It doesn't make sense. Hmm. They are actually murdering their own people in their own land and this cannot happen in the north too. You don't see them. Do you understand? It doesn't make sense. They'll come outside and speak grammar. And at the end of the day, they'll go back to the office. Nothing. They will not do anything. Or even if they say do this, they're not going to follow it up. They will not follow it up and make sure it has been done. So enough of the speaking of the plenty, plenty grammar. And there is nothing to show for it. Governor Pitamba, please take the people that you are handed over to you seriously. You are the chief security officer of the state. Please act like one all right and this note we've come to the end of the news we say thank you for turning in to listen until i come your way next time enjoy the rest of your day